Weehawken, New Jersey. Painting, John Moore. Words, P.G. Hodgson. Doctor in Scrubs entering the hospital, Andrea Itkin. There's no game on tonight, so at least I won't have to listen to the cheers of the crowd as I watch another of my patients dying. The traffic thunders on, but traffic is a neutral sound, loud though it is. Cheers and death don't sit well side by side, except in a Roman amphitheater with Christians and lions. For the spectators, at least. They wouldn't have sat well for the Christians. But we don't have an amphitheater, just a baseball park. It ain't the Weehawken Red Sox fault, doctor, one of my patients said to me because I winced at another cheer. They didn't ask for the city to build a cancer ward right next to the park. The park was there first. I love when the boys are just practicing. The shouts, the calls, even the coach screaming at someone for messing up. The noise the bat makes when it really connects with the ball. Someone got a hold of that one, the nurse would say to me with a smile. They've broken a few windows when someone really hits it out of the park. It's just the games themselves, the crowds and their cheering. If they were cheering for recoveries, that would be one thing. But those happen so rarely. One of those times when they knocked it out of the park, the ball came through an open window, bounced on the floor, ricocheted off someone's oxygen tank, and bounced out of another open window. The crowd actually hushed for that one, though only because they couldn't figure out where the ball had gone. We all ought to get autographed bats for that, said one of the patients, and everyone laughed, except we didn't catch it. I said they might make an exception. It's a beautiful night, though, tonight. If I could only summon enough courage to step across the threshold, it would be relatively quiet on the ward. Just the labored breathing of the patients, which is more comforting than anything else, until it stops, and some desultory chatter from the nurses, and the hum and rattle of the air conditioners, and the traffic, and hot, hot this evening, too hot for the air conditioners to cope with and hard for the patients to sleep. If I can just hold on to them all for the night. 